Okay, so where we're at now with our project, you should have possibly a window, you should have um, a floor. If you wanted to put a door, it'd be the exact same concept as the window, except you wouldn't do this middle stuff and you wouldn't do this bottom part. The door would go all the way down to the bottom below the baseboards. Now, what you need to do is add some furniture. And it's your room. It doesn't matter to me what furniture you want to add. What does matter to me is how you add your furniture. So, for example, I might want to add a couch in my room right here. If I'm going to add my couch, I know the back of my couch is going to be horizontal. Okay? I know that the back of my couch also is going to have a rectangle. And this is just rough. It's nothing like it's perfect and it's the final. Okay? Then I get to where my seat is. My seat part is going to go to the vanishing point. The other side of my seat part going to go to the vanishing point. It's important that it goes to the vanishing points. Then across the front, I'm going to connect, making my shape go into space. Now, some of you might say it's overlapping that wall. If you ever look at your room, that you're in, your furniture overlaps the wall a little bit, okay? I'm gonna bring my couch down some so it goes over on top of the floor, all right? So I went with a vertical line down. I'm gonna go with a horizontal line across and again, a vertical line down. Now's when I can do the fun stuff of my couch. My couch at my house it's not straight in the back. It's kind of flumpy and lumpy. So add some lumps to your couch. You could also make this a bed if you want to make it a bed. Add your details. You can make your arms rounded. Give a rainbow arch to your arms, round them out. Come down, make the bottom of your couch a little lumpy to make it look comfortable. Remember how we talked about that vanishing point. Connect to the vanishing point, the sofa cushions where you sit and it makes it read more like your couch. Now you got all this, what I like to call static. You need to take care of your stack. I'll do that in my next video.